This is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I'm going to be reviewing Maze Scape, and this is a series of maze games released by Devere Games. So let's take a quick look at Maze Scape. I was sent these two boxes, they feel really nice, and I have Labyrinthos and Ariadne. When you open one of the boxes, what you're basically getting is some rules. And then you have a set of maps. So these are all different maze challenges and you don't necessarily need it, but it's nice. There's a little stylus. So you can basically trace your path on these mazes using your finger or the stylus. It's up to you, but it's a nice little touch. The premise of the game is super simple. Basically you open this up and your goal is always to start at the compass and then go over to the impossible triangle. Uh, however, you're going to have to find your way through the maze to do that. So as you can tell, this is already not looking super simple because there's no way to get here. There's no obvious path to get here. The triangle's like up a level. How do we do it? Well, this is a cool function of this game, which is that it unfolds into a larger map. So you can't ever lift your stylus, but let's say that I want to come down here and go this way. I can open up my map to reveal a different pathway. So let's say that I want to come over here and like activate an extra, or I want to come over here and move up. Basically what's happening is that as long as your stylus isn't on it, I could actually do something like come around this way, open the map again, and reveal a whole new set of pathways for me to try out. So not everything's gonna work the first time, you might have some dead ends, but the idea is to keep working your way around until you get where you need to go. And to do that, you just keep on lifting your map whenever that seems necessary. And it opens up all the way into this full thing. So there are lots of little fun extras. So you have treasures that you can go and pick up and you mark off that you did them. There are lamps that you can turn on in the game. Um, if there's a door with a key, you have to find the key somewhere in your labyrinth before you can open the door. And you're basically trying to work your way around until you hit your goal, which is the impossible triangle, but you might also want to pick up some other stuff along the way. So as you can probably tell, this isn't huge. You could, I believe that you could play this on an airline tray table, which I think is a very good thing. And then whenever you're done, or if you get stuck and you want to start over, you just close it up and you're back to the compass and the impossible triangle. All of the mazes in Mayscape work this way with varying levels of complexity. And these are definitely a fun kind of brain bendy way to pass the time. All right, so now for some final thoughts. Overall, Mayscapes is fun if you're the sort of person who likes puzzles. So if you're already playing something like Sudoku or you know you like to do the crossword puzzle or you really enjoy kind of doing something like an exit game by yourself, then I think that Mayscape might have a place in your collection because it's another puzzly activity that you can do that you just lay it flat on a table and you know you're able to take your time and track your own progress and just kind of try to figure out something that gets increasingly brain bendy and difficult, depending on whether you're trying to pick up extras in the way and also the mazes get harder as they go on. So if that's the kind of thing that you're into, I think that Mayscape might be a good option for you. That said, if you're looking for something that really fits the theme, so you know you saw that it was called Labyrinth or Ariadne and you were like, oh, that's so cool. There'll be a Minotaur in here. The theme, such as it is, is basically just artistic add-ons to make the game look better. So I would not pick this up if you're looking for something more thematic or something that feels gamier. If you want something that is like a maze, but with extras to it, that has extra goals and extra challenges, then I do think that Mayscape would be a good fit for you. Um, I certainly got a kick out of it. I plan to fully finish the second box. I've already done one of them. And while I wouldn't say it's one for the ages, I would say that as a puzzly way to spend your time, it's a perfectly good choice. I give it a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.